my good season. So you got a bunch of guys who were not out here today. Obviously, we know that some of them. Mm -hmm. were Dion, some of those guys. Yeah, it's all the look with everything right now. You know, we had to get our work in today, and like I've been on record many times, this thing's fluid. Yeah. Looked different yesterday, and it's going to look at it right now, and then it'll all clear up by tomorrow, and certainly by Friday. We'll have a very clear picture of what the early roster is going to look like for us. Have you made decisions of these? There were two waiver claims that were already made public. Mm -hmm. Have you made decisions on roster moves corresponding with those yet? We have, but until we officially do it, I'm not going to speak out of turn. I mean, all that stuff is clear. I'd be evasive. There's always the, you know, I'm not going to jump ahead of the league and uh, their process. But yes, we have. Uh, but I'm not going to get in that. It'll be all clear up here soon. All right, so hey, coach, you put, have you put guys on IR then? Our, our it all cleared up here in a couple hours. Um, Coach, the 12 uh, practice squad members, uh, mm -hmm. 11 we are familiar with, and one was sure. in for a tryout. Uh, yeah, we're still working through a D led, but mm -hmm. uh, we're happy to have those guys back. The ones that we announced that, that have been in camp with us, we're, we're fired up to continue to work with them. And uh, with the new rules, you know, you can stand and elevate them, everybody's going to be ready to play. And it's, it's about making sure you have all the right guys. And the one thing I will say, I guess somebody claimed it, and uh, we had a national guy claimed that the guy was going to compete for a spot. Guys, it, that's not true. Like, we're bringing guys in there, we'll evaluate them. And uh, that's funny, I don't know, you know, where people get their sources or whatever they're saying, that's not the case. Okay. Check, see if somebody's a fit, see what it looks like. But uh, nobody we claim is competing for the right tackle spot. But everybody that's in this roster compete to play. But that, I'm going to knock that narrative out of there. I don't know where that came from. Dickerson, of, uh, uh, can I have a question yeah. about Dickerson? He was with you in Tennessee. He was, while. yeah. Tell the folks about him. Yeah, uh, hard charging guys. Guys have improved, uh, like what we've seen on tape, and we'll, we'll take a look at Matt and see what he looks like when he gets here. In, term of, in terms of Bernhardt, I know we've talked about it before mm -hmm. during camp. What was it that you saw that you said, I, I feel good enough? Him well, there's a lot of things uh, with a lot of guys. I mean, you saw the, the constant improvement, um, you know, the ability for us to, to trust, and uh, yeah, we felt he deserves a shot right now. So, uh, very pleased with Bernie. Uh, he's come a long way quick. Just like a lot of guys on this roster, and, and they're not easy decisions. And you're trying to balance everything, and you wish we could keep everybody, but that's not the case. And we'll continue to look to add, but uh, anybody we kept, we felt confident in the way they were trending. You, you mentioned long way quick with him and constant mm -hmm. improvement. It seemed like his journey might have been a little bit different because sure. of the lack of football over a full college career. At, right, uh, but the guy, the guy, he had played football yeah. at a different position. Um, and then, you know, obviously played lacrosse. Well documented, and uh, change positions here, and come a long way. We're excited to see where it goes. Was there was there a, a moment of a week or, or something that you saw? I didn't have an aha moment. I know okay. you guys always ask no, me. But, but everybody asks me for like the the corny like, so we can write it some some fluff piece like, wow, like yeah, we had this right. magic uh, moment or dinner. No, it's just a continued evaluation, right. trying to be objective. What well, wasn't sure if that like that touchdown pass that he caught? Detroit that wasn't just because of the touchdown pass. Right. It's, no, it's, it's, it's all the little plays. Yet. Sometimes you guys don't even see the little nuances. Some of the things that guys you can trust, uh, all the little details, those things add up. The coach just want to check in mm -hmm. on the uh, non-fluff matters. Of, uh, yeah, sure. Hit me with the direct questions. I'll give you direct <laughs> answers. What you got, Delay? Yeah, I just had uh, uh, London, uh, Davidson, and uh, Mayfield. Uh, you know, where are they at? Yeah, um, you, you know, all the picture will clear up for, for a lot of those guys. But, uh, uh, you know, we're, we're excited about Drake's progress, and we'll see where that goes. Um, and there's other guys. We'll just wait and see, you know, how it plays out. And I mean, the, uh, it was a lot of, lot of, um, you know, we, we talked about it, but it's, it seems like more than normal with people on personal stuff. Or uh, well, unfortunately, you know, one player has, uh, you know, fortunately lost best friends at a funeral. Okay. When those life events come come up, okay, you, you better make sure you're there. And we got enough guys. Um, we're there to support everybody in our organization. And so when things come up and, and major life events. Tragic, or you know, we've had a couple guys. You know, first first baby was born. Uh, it's important. So yeah, the timing of it, you know, it's sometimes it, it you can't control the timing. So you got football and life stuff going on. Yeah, when you talking about serious life matters, you led. We we take that serious. We're going to support all of our all of our people, everybody in this organization. Well, since we want to see you to Monday, um, what's kind oh, of the plan here? The wait, next I thought day? I thought you guys were coming out tomorrow. I, I'm I'm actually gonna go see my dad, but oh, see, there's a important life event, <laughs> D-Led. No, it is. But uh, but uh, but yeah. So what what's the plan over? I know you're not just gonna be kicking back. No, I mean it's a, it's certainly a bye week. It's probably good, it, and it, it's healthy for the for the players, mm -hmm. and uh, certainly 
the plan is, you know, we, we got a, a big game coming up mm -hmm. on September 11th. And right. so it's a fine line. You don't want to uh, go overkill like it's a month to prepare for a bowl game. And that's always hard with week ones. You want to write amount. You don't want to overthink it. You want to have a good plan and, and make sure we're ready to roll. I just have one question. Yeah. Just kind of the overall vibe today, a day after cuts, is it just kind of a little bit weird to see less, less people? Or what's kind of the feeling around that? Yeah, it is. I mean, you feel it as soon as you step into the team meeting. You know, you're used to seeing a lot more people in there and then we'll, we'll it'll fill back up as we continue to, to fill out the practice squad and as some of the corresponding transactions happen in the next 24 48 hours certainly I mean it's uh, it's a tough business um, you know when you, like I, I said right after the preseason game I got a lot of respect and appreciation for all the guys they, it's, it's a tough business we understand that we understand you're well compensated but there's still a human element and uh, you wish you could have you know all the guys but we, we can't um, but it certainly does feel a little bit different. Seeing guys go to kind of different organizations, is it just a little bittersweet to see they're not? It's not bit. I mean, you have a great appreciation, but you understand the, the business. And you never know. Life comes in full circle. Like, we got guys here that I worked, that worked with previous at different spots, no different than last year. Uh, Brandon Copeland, a guy that when I was running the scout team and holding up the cards, and he was a young guy in this league trying to make it on the P squad. And, uh, you know, it's funny how life comes, and then you become the head coach, and he's a veteran. and. You get to work with them again, so you just never know. Hey, Coach, just um, I've been going over uh, Parker's uh, uh, climb. Hesse? Yeah, 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 Hesse. Yeah. As the old tight ends coach, you got to be uh, well, yeah, I, um, with the development there. Sure, and, and you, like you never know. You're talking about life experiences. Uh, Todd Downing, who when I was the coordinator, he was the tight end coach, and he goes to Iowa to work out um, Hawkinson and Fant, mm -hmm. and Hesse's kind of working both. He jumps in there. Um, like him, bring him in for a look. All those guys have hung around, come up the hard way, and he's made a lot of improvement. Mm -hmm. But uh, Parker's a cool story. Uh, Iowa team captain. Mm -hmm. uh, love, love the way his approach to the game, and, and excited Parker's here. He said fourth year, he's feeling natural. Yeah, it's a lot of work. I mean, he went from being a D lineman at a really good program mm -hmm. that's had a lot of success on defense, and some programs it means more when you're the captain. And for him to switch positions, I think you talk about circumstance and chance. Todd just throws him in the workout, mm -hmm. like him. You know, you may strike out post draft, and you say, "Here's a guy, let's try him out." And then the other thing, he got a ton of reps. We we had a lot of guys in yellow jerseys that spring, so he took a million reps, and you saw the climb. And then you know, he bounced up practice squad here, there, had an opportunity to bring him in Atlanta, and he decided where's that. Is that the uh, individual workout for the others, or a it was pro a pro day, day I believe. A pro day yeah, day. I believe it was a pro day. Sure. Very serious. I'm still waiting. I think I've made him laugh once. <laughs> so it's very serious. What did you say to make him laugh? I, it wasn't anything inappropriate, but it <laughs> took a lot of work. They got cracked a half a smile. So that's what I got out of him.